I'm going to start this off by writing a really quick review over what we just did. We didn't do it with A. We did it with H and K. H moves us right and left. For instance, something like X minus 3 would make H3 and move us right. Something like X plus 3 would make H negative 3 and move left. K quite simply moves us up if it's positive and down when it's negative. No tricks with K, no opposite. So I'm going to draw it on here. All right? This is my H. This is my K. So if I was asked to write an equation about this, right? My H would be, looks like that's 2. My K would be 4, but when we write it, right? My H gets just plugged in with a negative in front of it, and my K gets a 4. <clears throat> All right. So H is the number of units that the parents has translated horizontally, right? For the right, H is positive. For the left, it's negative. But remember, since there's a minus there, it always looks to be the opposite right there. All right. K is vertical. That's up and down. Right, up K is positive, right, down K is negative. So let's see if they, that's definitely that function, right? That's what we wrote. Minus 2 plus 3 is what, or is that plus 3? Did I go up too far? That is plus 3. Look right there. I didn't go all the way up to 4. I apparently need to look at new glasses. All right. So same thing here. Look, ready? I'm going to say H is how far I moved right like that makes H1 in this case. K is how far I moved up, and this time I got it. K is 3, so that's going to be down here, X minus 1. K is 3. All right, already done with this page. If the graph of an absolute value function is translated in the graph of the parent function, explain how you can use the vertex translation to help you discriminate the equation. All right. Um, <clears throat> we'll just say that. The vertex moves left or right H and up or down K. Really, that's it. All right, I think we've done three pages. We have. We got two more to go. So here we go. Right here, we're going to find this one right here. So remember, this is my H, and this is my K. In this case, it looks like my H moved left twice, so my H is negative 2. My K moved up once, so my K is 1. Let's write it. G of X equals X minus H plus K. G of X equals, look, I'm plugging a negative into a negative, so that turns into x plus 2, and that's just plus 1. Done. All right. Um, we got one more thing to do. It's a little bit funky, but I'll show you soon. We haven't even combined everything, but I will show you. All right. So I'll get this posted.